14-month-old Mansour suffers from what's known as severe acute malnutrition. His father used to be a farmer, but since the war has struggled to find work. The family's main meal now, bread and milk from the neighbor's livestock. Like Mansour, five million other children in Yemen are at risk of famine. That's the conclusion of a new report from NGO Save the Children. Millions of children don't know when or if their next meal will come. It's essential that children get the food they need to survive and thrive. The report comes at a critical point in the country's three-year-long civil war. Clashes have resumed outside the Red Sea port of Hodeidah, where much of Yemen's food and medical aid enters the country. In recent days, Saudi-backed pro-government forces have led an offensive against Houthi rebels who control the city. That's led to fears of further accelerating the humanitarian crisis. As it stands, food aid isn't reaching everyone in need, like in the northwestern city of Hajar. In one week, we typically receive 17 cases of the most severe acute malnutrition. Not average or at natural level, severe, to the bone. And this is a dangerous indicator for the district. The United Nations has warned any major fighting in Hodeida could block food distribution to 8 million Yemenis in need of aid. Nearly 10,000 have died in the conflict.